Hey, hey, Rhonda Roseanne, CPA and Advanced Certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor from New Business Directions here today with a quick video on how to back up your QuickBooks file. Now, I know you all have external backups and Carbonite or Crash Plan or whatever, and that's all well and good, but it's not a QuickBooks backup, it's just a copy. What's the difference, you say? Well, a copy is a copy. It doesn't include all the important things from your QuickBooks files, like your letters and your templates, your logos, your images, your cash flow projector, your loan manager, and other really important things that are inside of QuickBooks that will be copied and backed up if you use the feature of backing up inside of your QuickBooks file. So here we are in Sample Rock Castle Construction in QuickBooks Accountant version desktop 2018 on the homepage. And in order to prepare for a backup, there are a couple of things that you want to do. Number one, you want to make sure that all of your windows are closed. So if you have invoices and bills and payments and deposits and your check register and all those kind of things open, first close them. It's a simple process. If you go to window, close all, it closes all your windows. It's okay to leave your home page open, but it's not okay to leave open all of those other things when you are doing a backup. The other thing that you want to do if you have multiple licenses of QuickBooks is make sure that you are in single user mode. So if you go to file and drop down and it says switch to multi-user mode, then you're already in single user mode. However, if it says switch to single user mode, then you need to click that and switch over to single user mode so that nobody interrupts your backup. Plus, this will give you the ability to run a complete verification of the file, which checks little things in the background to make sure that all of your transactions in QuickBooks are linked and that the balance sheet actually balances. So close the windows, switch to single user mode. Then under the same file menu, click backup company, create a local backup. And here is where you need to stop. It is, yes, local backup, but you need to go over to options. And in options, you need to tell it where to put this backup. Now, I put mine on my desktop, but then I move them out to an external device that is taken off site. So don't just leave them on your desktop accumulating backup after backup. You want to make sure that you are doing a complete verification. As I said, this can only be done in single user mode and it is required to make sure that everything is working properly in the background. Once you have told it where to go, whether it's an external drive, CD, flash drive, etc., do the complete verification, click OK. It's giving me a warning. It doesn't want me to use my local desktop of the computer because it's afraid that both things live in the same place, the QuickBooks file and the backup. I'm going to use this location. Don't do as I do, do as I say, please. Then you can click next. You want to save it now. Where do you want to save it? I've sent it here and there it goes. It is checking the verification and the database consistency. And this takes a little bit of time. And if you have not done a backup in a long time, it will take longer to do this. So how often should you back up your QuickBooks file? Well, you tell me, how often do you work in your QuickBooks file and how much data do you want to have to re-enter if you lose your data file? That's the answer. I back up every time I use the QuickBooks file extensively. If that's every day, then it's every day. If it's once a month, then it's once a month. Here we are, we have a backup, it is complete, it is done, and that is how you do a backup in QuickBooks. Now, if I wanted to go to my desktop and move that out to another device, I would just copy and paste it out to another device. That is how you do a backup in QuickBooks. Thank you very much for joining us. If you have any questions about QuickBooks or you need assistance, please start with our website at newbusinessdirections.com. There you will find our blog, it is searchable. We have lots of articles out there because people ask us lots of questions. If you need help organizing your chaos or streamlining the process, call us. It's okay. We're here to help.